Viganus, Marinish yet foul. Wahili body gun, scruple gun, noddy. Half a bleg in the meat, a good year turned down. For question the matter, a gear or a fan of has sheared some taller leos, keen me the blien. A risk your game play hands, not a mere death of me by physic or canish, good wife sheared bus lane operating inbound on Clambrassel Street. Also in Dublin, pedestrian signals are out of action on the Old Bridge Road at Temple Oak Bridge, so make sure you approach with care. Elsewhere, there's still a little bit of patchy fog on the outskirts of Cavan Town, foggy too around Dundalk, and on the M6 at the moat exits, which are junctions 6 and 7. So again, remember to use your fog lights in affected areas, and make sure you switch them off afterwards. Aoife Carraher, AA Roadwatch. 2FM Sport, sponsored by Electric Ireland, supporting all your energy needs and Ireland's Olympic team. Gaelic Games and Mayo are through the All-Ireland football final after a three-point victory over last year's champions Dublin at Croke Park yesterday. Mayo led by 10 points with 15 minutes to go in the second half. But Dublin came back to cut the gap to within two points at one stage. It wasn't enough, however, as the Connacht men secured the 19 points to 16 victory. Mayo manager James Horan says he was nervous during the second half when the Dubs were fighting back. Yeah, look at the Dublin as, 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 as they would. Uh, they started to get momentum around the middle and one, I think, eight or nine breaks in a row and whatever we tried it didn't seem to work um, so they got the run on us at, 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 um, for, for a long period of the time but we showed a lot of character and we showed some some absolutely heroic defending to, to keep them out and um, you know in the end we had, we, had, we had four or five chances in the last five or six minutes to, to go a couple of points uh, clear but uh, made basic mistakes in those so look at the, the character that we showed um, it's, it's hugely uplifting um, during that game you know because we were we were against them for a long time but uh, we came through Mayo will face Donegal in the final on the 23rd of September. Meanwhile, in the minor semi-final, Dublin beat Kerry 3-12 to 1-10 to set up a final with Mead. At the Paralympic Games, Wicklow's Helen Carney won a silver medal for Team Ireland, riding Mr. Cool in the equestrian event yesterday. Carney... or internet posts may contravene the protective harassment order of 1997 or the malicious communication uh, communications order and that was late 80s. So it's up to individual schools then? Yes, it is up to individual schools. Now we've already heard earlier in the programme from the principal of Ashfield Girls High School. Uh, she believes that the school does have a duty to intervene if after school bullying is having an impact on the victim during school hours. That particular school and others uh, takes a very hard line against bullying but has a very flexible approach because Ashfield girls recommend getting the bully or the bullies and the victim together face to face a no blame approach and obviously some parents think that's unfair mm. on their child and some pupils are simply too
too scared to do that. And that's where this need for flexibility comes in. Now, uh, two teenagers I spoke to did agree to do uh, recorded interviews about their experiences because they say they don't want anyone else to go through the same thing. So have a listen to this. My name's Bruna and I'm 15. Um, basically, I was bullied online. MSN is an instant messenger from email to email. And you can just, you know, once you get someone's email, then they're automatically on your contact list. It was a boy from a previous school, and I thought that maybe he wanted to catch up with me and thought nothing. Now, Mart, that's going to school, John Williams. Did you know, Mart, that Ray Charles was here to make a film? Um, the English actor Tom Bell was in it, but a boy who was blind. Word in the title, A Touch of Blue, says Esther, in Dublin 7. Is that, it's a black and white movie, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Filmed in the Gaiety or Olympia. I could be absolutely dreaming. I could be dreaming, who is to say? I must mention, uh, Esther, you'll know, because you always do. Hugo Montenegro today, uh, I want to mention him because he was, he was born uh, yesterday, back in 1925. He's gone now. He's gone a few years. But Hugo Montenegro had the version fully, before I knew anything about the, the, the intricacies, if you will, of any Morricone. It was Hugo Montenegro who arrived with the good, the bad, and the ugly, and went and, ha went and had a hit with it. Um, because M&M, but back again. guess who's back? Shady's back, back, yeah. back. So Very shady altogether. You and all is back in business, Bobby. That's not going to happen, JR. This is not going to happen. That's why I wanted to sell South Fork in the first place, to stop all this feuding and leave a legacy to Mama. You want to carry on Mama's legacy? Well, I want to carry on Daddy's. I'm taking back what should have been mine in the first place. I'm going to make this right. And I'm going to take you down, brother. <gasps> yes, <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Dallas is back tonight, TV3, 10 o'clock. My entire life, my mum has smoked. If I ever had a problem or something happened at school, I'd go straight to her and she'd know what to do. She was 45 when she was diagnosed with lung cancer. And she was 46 when she passed away. One in every two smokers will die of a tobacco-related disease. You can quit, and we can help. Visit quit.ie, call the quit line on 1850-201-203, or join us on Facebook. From the HSE and the Irish Cancer Society. It makes sense to keep things simple, like KBC's interest upfront savings account. It is a 12-month fixed term. What is there in the time of Princess Margaret? I think it was. 